setting up basically that summary of what Jesus Christ did. He's going to go into more details later about the sacrifice, about what it accomplished specifically for Israel's program. Uh, but you notice chapter 2, verse 1, it says, Therefore, you know, based on what we've seen in chapter 1, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which he have heard. He's given chapter 1 to show you how great the Son of God is, what Jesus Christ did, so that the audience of Hebrews, so that all of Israel may realize how critically important it is to give the earnest heed to the message that God gave through His Son, which was mentioned in, in chapter 1, verse 2, in these last days, in that tribulation period. So that when the little flock comes to them and preaches, repent, and be water baptized for the remission of sins, they will recognize, I better listen, because if I don't listen, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come back. He's over everything. Nobody's going to stop Him. Even if I side with Satan and his forces, I'm going to lose. And so then I'm going to be judged into the lake of fire. So the book of Hebrews is really giving, telling you about the crosswork of Christ as it relates to Israel's program and what all he accomplished so that they may believe the gospel of the kingdom and have eternal life in the kingdom so that when Jesus comes back at his second coming, they are not part of his wrath. Uh, so with that, let's close with a word of prayer. Um, dear Lord, we thank you for the study that we've had. Even though it's in Israel's program, we still recognize all that the Lord Jesus Christ did for the Hebrews. He's done it for us as well, um, spoiling those principalities and powers. We thank you for that. Without that, we would not have eternal life. And help us to constantly remember that so that we would give the more earnest heed to the things that we find in Paul's epistles and learn that doctrine so that we may be a integral part of the body of Christ in heavenly places for all eternity. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thanks for joining us next time. We'll start Hebrews chapter 2. We'll see you then.